Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3 The Lore Series. This is episode 51. Now, first of all, uh, timestamps are back. Mostly because I need to talk about a few things here. Uh, this video is going to have a disclaimer. This is what this is and then an introduction when we properly introduce the video. So I'm going to start right away telling you that uh, I completely discarded one episode. Um... Because just so you know how much I actually like to work on this series, I have a friend of mine um, following the notes that I make for the episodes. He's got a Baldoran tab. He plays differently, uh, and that allows me to just um, check on many uh, on many other options and dialogues and things that usually you know the game changes a lot depending on how you play. I have that going for this series. And today, for today, I have prepared an episode regarding the, um, the painter, the artist, this one. We met this artist I, uh, um, when we encountered the, th the Thundering in Act 2, back in Act 2. Now, that is one of the most, uh, that is one of the worst and most useless missions. It, quite honestly, I think it's pretty badly done. Matter of fact, if you get everything out of that mission, you only end up um, getting the, the the actual, the real rewards today, maybe. So just so you know, I think I I will be discarding uh, missions that lack substantial substantial ability. I don't know if that's a word. Uh, what is what am I trying to explain? Just so you know, for example, there is uh, in RPG games mm, plenty of useless mission if you would call them something. I don't think they are. One example would be mission from last episode uh, regarding the Steel Watch and the clans, um, the Condians and the Iron Hand. You could say that it's useless. Uh, the, the thing regarding the clans, for example, getting to do it all right, but it's substantial. You know, it gives you an, a perspective on on. On each side of the clan and then you end up having three different options on how you want to wrap things up uh, either you want to side with one of them or basically uh, unite them as we did in the past so that sort of thing i think um, i think this mission this mission was just a, a waste of a, an episode quite frankly which is why i have decided to discard it now Let's begin. First of all, as you might have seen, I bench Minsk once again. It would be, it, it would be a good idea, or it would be ideal, to to have Minsk and Yehira today. The thing is, we do need, um, we do need the damage. We do need to do a good, um, to do good fights, basically. That is quite necessary uh, today. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna send this to a I think he has the remaining parts of the clown. Uh, didn't I have something else on the clown? Well, never mind. So we are taking Shadow Hearts. What's next? I wonder. There she is. As you can see over there, means is naked. <laughs> but yeah. Just showing you a little bit, I did all of this off camera. I know some people don't like it, so I wanted to try and see how that go. Got the shield of devotion, got the blood of Lathander, it's pretty usual. Lathander's light, mage's friend, wound closure, heal of giant strength. Look at that 10 15 with the Lathander's light, that's insane. Striving. Reapers, Cunning Broom, and Green Skull Helm. Now, as for Astarion, as you can see, he's got the Helm of Baal. He also, well, Saravok Helm. And the the Daggers of Orin, as well as the Amulet of Baal. He's a true Baalist, Astarion. <laughs> but in any case, this is what we're rolling today. And we're gonna get started right away. There is a lot of things regarding Selenite um, affairs today. 
Remember that Dame Alien went flying to find that little rock and guy that is in the tower. And I think we are gonna get to see that today. Just a heads up, lads. This is going to be a very long video, I think. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to pan out. But today's one of them good fucking episodes with a lot of unraveling and probably a lot of reading. I will do my best. You guys know I have a sort of an issue when reading English. I've been trying to practice on my own. But yeah, it always comes uh, right when it's reading out loud. But Shadow Har, very important to have around. And, uh, well, over there is the, um, over here is the painter's, the artist's uh, quest, just so you know. But yeah, in any case, uh, something for you to know is that in the place that we're gonna go now, there is a character from the previous games. Someone that you can have as a companion, I believe, in the previous games. This is the house of grief. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. Very well. Mary House of grief welcomes you and stands ready to ease your troubles. Let's see. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. Mm. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. Time. I've used the sword I have First, in my back. You submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. Very well then. So yeah, these are Sharon's apparently. I thought Sharon's were against grief. Have a seat. The mapping will begin shortly. Very well then. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Okay. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? No, no, no. Let her do the talking. This is interesting. The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. There she is. 
Mother Superior. Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. Very well, so that is Viconia de Vere. She is the one that was a playable character in the previous games. And as I said, I, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, you can. Uh, it's a companion, basically. And she's the mother superior of Char. She was a follower of Lolth, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, there is a story there of uh, her powers being stripped from her by Lolth. Or whatever it's pronounced. Um, other than that, I really don't know much about that, quite frankly. Uh, oh, what is there? Oh, they all they all fail. Uh, hopefully, we will get to learn some of those things when we go through Baldur's Gate One and Two. If you want to see that, remember comment, like, subscribe, please. But yeah, today we are learning more about Shadowheart. This is yet uh, another Sharon temple. Let's have a look at myself. The mapping of the heart, that is something they study a lot. Oh, it's locked? Oh, yeah. You lads know what we do with. Interrogation in three levels. I, I think I might have hurt people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams rang off these walls. I swear I can almost hear them. Yep. Physical, emotional, physical, and lethal. The three stages of uh, torture, as you can see. Ah, oh, not a pretty sight, precisely. So yeah, this is the torture chamber. Shadowheart would have operated here. Let's see what we got here. A lot of clothing. A cunning disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. Report on activities of Ember Gortash. Putting these on, pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. Interesting. Artifact mission challenges. Uh, the pages in this uh, handwritten notebook have been thrown out, except for the final page, which was uh, only par partially removed. The remaining text reads uh, as follows. Okay, so it's it's basically the half a page. Sharon agents in somebody must be trained to deal with conventional illithid and Githyanki traps, uh, locks, levers, and controls. But most importantly, they must be mentally prepared to face extreme situations under alien conditions. Uh, Causalities are ex uh, casualties are expected, but that circumstance must not halt the mission. Agents are to be deep in view to regard mission success as critical, even beyond survival. Oh, yeah, they were studying Gortosh, it, it seems. I wouldn't imagine them being uh, an ally to Gortosh. These are just Charon. This is just candles, it seems. Yep. And you're taking lots. Charon Temple. I remember this place now. A whole stolen childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Hopefully, this is very interesting place, lads. Is someone over there? 
so far, uh, if you guys don't remember, well, the whole thing with uh, this this whole thing is going on because we freed the Night Song with Shadowheart. Shadowheart uh, rebel against Shar or the Sharon um, Church to call it something. And it's now a Selenite. Um, yeah, Viconia and Devere, the Here one. The most superior, you. precisely. It's now to be face here. Not really know what her plans are. Well, there she is. They already heard how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. Ah. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Very well. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Never, lads. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! And right away we begin. So, uh, the Viconia, it's a. Well, I said this already, but. That's why the ideal thing was to bring um, Minsk and Yehira because they know her. However, look at the size of this fight. You know, I would have to prepare them and all of that. And uh, that's why we just uh, began like this. But yeah, here's the thing: they want to they want to get Shadowheart. Um, we are here trying to retrieve Shadowheart's parents. That in previous episodes we've uh, come to learn, I think it was Aileen, the one that told us that her parents are still alive. And supposedly in this very temple. So yeah, let's let's begin. Let's have a look around first. The Crusaders are the, the stronger. A lot of these guys with white masks, I believe they throw blinding. And she's got sanctuary. Very well. So, one thing to remember is to not smite these guys down with divine. Don't hit any any Sharon with divine because they um, because they Sharon they they're gonna give you the damage right back at you. It's gonna hurt you just as much as you. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Just as much as you make damage, you're gonna take. Should probably split a little bit, start splitting as we move. Fuck yes. Hmm, I wish they were closer together. I can throw the clown's head. Frenzy. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get up here because I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. No, actually, I'm just gonna start advancing a little bit. Uh, with my paladin, I'm gonna use the... I am Lady Shaw's instrument. The black hole. 
Oh, that's a lot of damage. But it would be better if we wait until they get a little closer, so that way... We bring more people into their black hole. Very well. Here she is. And this guy. There is. Ooh, we're gonna check on that later. Oh. Almost. Uh, was it divine? I'm not entirely sure it's in that against the Avernus people. No blinding for you. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> we got the blind the blind anyway. Uh Carlux, uh, I don't know who made that much damage to her. Okay, so Hmm, I got an idea. But I would probably need them to get closer to me actually to or more people to get here, actually. Yeah, you see we still got those. Uh with the distance I think we can we can afford to wait at one more turn. In the meanwhile I wanna, wanna put on the blessing. Oh, I can't do it because it's uh, because it's blind, basically. I still cannot do it. I do believe this thing, this thing channels the the blessing. Hmm. I got a sunbeam. Don't I have the moonbeam? Divine strike. I cannot use that because uh, I, I explained it to you. We get the damage back. Right back. Don't I have a... Oh no, because that's from the... It's from the staff. I can keep this three. Probably not the brightest idea. Yeah, again, not all too bad. Let's put up the great axe. Right. More blind. It's brilliant. Broken concentration. That's one of the blinds gone, I believe. Yeah. Ah, oh, but they cast it again. I'm gonna send a stallion away with... Uh... With a uh, misty step, definitely. It would, it, it would be really cool if alien shows up here or something. That would have been great. Lady Shaw's will shall be done. Look at that. They are all really perish. close. This is brilliant. <laughs> Unless they kill Shadowheart. The oh, I didn't see them guys behind. Right, so this is the mm, the weapon. 
Where is it though? I don't see it. Right. Lady Shah's will shall be done. Ooh, shall fall. Ah, all the blindness. Very well. This is Astarion. I'm gonna haul us out of here. I can't because I can't see, basically. Okay, so I either risk the hit. Two hits, maybe. Yep. But I'm gonna stay out of trouble. Although if I use my action, the Misty Step... Yeah, okay. Because it's from the boots, not from the... Mm. Mm, and I cannot shoot in the, in the mist very well. What? There we go. God, it's hot in here. Karlak. Uh, I guess it's the same thing. I cannot do this. Right. And whatever I do is pretty much the same. Hmm. I am not in a good spot. That's it. Fighting is futile. The darkness awaits you. It failed. It's good. Now. Let's bring this on. How many people I can bring? Almost everyone. Provokes attack opportunity. I'll take it. Yeah. Because it's gonna get them all slow. As well. It's gonna give them all slow. I thought that would have worked, quite frankly. I need to heal her. I think it's fine, I'm gonna throw a... One of them greater healings on with Shadow Heart. You see, all of them are slowed down now. Okay. And I think this actually can... Oh, because they have chilled bone. She doesn't, does she? Hmm. Same thing.
It killed them anyway. I'm gonna use this here. Time to deal some punishment. It's gonna hurt me too, though. I need healing. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna use all my actions there, right? Yep. We're fine. It missed. You see, this is a massive fight. It's, it's not that it's difficult or anything, but we're playing it all the time and it's just too many people. I'm starting to take damage there. What? Is she dead? No, she's not. Don't do it to her. Okay. Oof. Yeah, and I can't really see them. I can't really see any of them. Can I? Okay, the game is being like that with a starting for some reason. Right. Gotta wait to see that damage. Game is being a little faulty today. I'm gonna use uh, one of these big potions. Very well. You shall never see sunlight again. Ah, there she goes. These guys never got their damage, did they? No. I got another black hole though. Should I use it? No, because I can't move. Even if I use all my actions, I can still do the movement, right? No. Very well then. They're gonna go to Karlak, aren't they? Demon. 
She cannot heal with bone shield. I need Shadow Heart to do one of them big healings, but I don't know if it's gonna heal them both. Slightly. Okay. But we're almost there. It's not it's not going badly. It just looks very messy. But we're we're doing alright. So hard down. I offer your death to the night singer. Overall, this fight's been a bit messy. Are gone. This will do nicely. Blood. And I'm gonna make a lot of damage to myself here, but considering everyone is together, I think it's the right move. See, they're falling, they're falling. We're doing good, we're doing good. Hmm. Okay, let's see what you do. Car like it's down as well. It's alright. I don't know. The thing is, I, I'm not gonna be able to heal her though. I got another of those. Maybe Carla can move in the uh, afterwards. I, I'm gonna put myself in front of her. Stairing is almost about to fall as well. They wasted it on the movement, all of it. They couldn't attack very well then. Right. I got this. Mm, this is dangerous, but I can move, right? Oh, they got close to me. What a fucking. I'm gonna... Uh... Mm, difficult. Oh. I reckon I can hit this guy without taking damage. Handy. I do. It had to be car like, didn't it? 
<laughs> Give me execute with this one, please. Almost. Almost. Well, it matters not. We are almost done. Kill that guy. I'm gonna kill this one. And then he goes to me. Ooh. There we go. Two guys down. The coin is not dead, as you can see. Uh, she's bugging, however. Oh, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. I know some people whose uh, mission got bugged and she just died. Well, we need her to not die. I have to find my parents. They must be close. Very well. Welcome, rest. Oh, that was, uh, as I said, it's difficult mostly because um, how many people it is. Can't give up now. So, as you can see, We've dealt with them all. Some of them have um, notes that are mm, slightly important. These keys as well will open some paths in inside this temple. Uh, oh, Talton, the Mother Superior has approved me for a uh, for applied poisons and paralysis training i'm so proud your little night miss is going to be a certified venom specialist for the, uh, the dark lady that would also qualify me to study the basics of sudden uh, esophageal collapse that's gross But yeah, this is the notes I was I was telling you about before. Uh, they just implant these things to give the NPCs a backstory, and it, well, if you're uh, too much of a good guy, you can feel bad for killing them. You know, they just were doing their job. But in any case, we made it through the fight. We have to talk to the to this woman. I think it's better if Shadowheart does it. Finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. Make it quick. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through the door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. You saw them many times. Only we made you forget. But they didn't forget. They watched as we molded you. They watched. They wept. They bled. Often at your hand. It may not be a happy reunion. But it will be a memorable one. So they're here. She's just trying to rile you up. Hmm. I know. But she's not lying. She made me in her image. Why? Why me? Why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me. And I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she wills me to. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this 
Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. When in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Shah had me do that. And I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning. The training. Those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right-hand side. And still you threw it away. So the whole point of kidnapping Shadow Heart was to um, to prove that um, well that they can I don't know yeah it's like it was just an experiment or something what do you want to do? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. Oh. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself. You owe me that. Let go, mother. Embrace loss. Whoa. Bars. <laughs> So yeah, if you come here with uh, Yehira and Minsk, I think they, they assume, I don't know, it's like a different dialogue, I believe. So that's why it would have been ideal to do so. But yeah, in the end, uh, I don't know if it happens anything if you let her go. I don't think so. Yeah, we're just gonna kill her because she deserves it. With a little dagger. I drew near, my lady. Very well. So that's that. Uh, so her parents are here. That we need to find. Black diamond. After I moved something on the altar. I think the door closed there. It's a lot. Look at that. <laughs> Let's get to it then. Oh, we got the key. Captives of Shar. Githyanki. This is everyone that's been here. What do you say? Oh, they're there. Arnel Hollow Leaf, Emmeline. It can't be another vile trick. <laughs> oh, so there it is. So basically, no. there is no trick. It's her, Genevieve. Jennifer. A little girl. Moon Maiden's Grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. Is Char. It is not over. You see, 
It matters not if you raise this place. If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters. That was never where my power resided. Every time you try to step away from me, every time you try to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. So that's the thing, lads. Every time the, the wound would hurt on Shadowheart, that basically means uh, it's moments in which her parents are being tortured. So... She was trying to spy your victory. There are a few things about this mission that I want to talk about, actually. Victory? Your victory is but a guttering candle in the dark. Temporary. Inconsequential. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, do, I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. Right. So I... I ponder this um about this mission for a while i will talk about it afterwards but yeah just bear with me this one we're gonna tell her this no, i'll explain why i can't i came here for them and you did you found us all these years, that dream kept us going, that you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach. And we'll be at peace. I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. So we want to let her decide. And I want to talk about the mission afterwards, after the whole movie, lots. It is what we need, all of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close.
Right. <laughs> what are those? Moonlights. They bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. One thing, what should I call you? <laughs> but it was, yeah, that's the, uh, that's how it goes, lads. Shadowheart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. Can't cast a shadow without some light. Well, that is true. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night. To try and get my head together. Very well. And so, it comes to an end, lads. This is... This is how it goes. Now, uh, I said I wanted to talk about the um, about the mission, uh, this whole mission. Uh, afterwards, that means now. And the thing is, I done this mission for, with this time will be three times. Once uh, I free their parents, I free her parents. You can do that, and they go to your camp. Uh, there is not much to do uh, with that. That's just what happens. Then uh, I did a sh evil Shadowheart, for example. Uh, Shadowheart becomes a, um, a Dark Justicia, I think. Or the Mother Superior. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so this is the first time this comes this way for me. And I pondered about how I want to do these things, you know? I, I kind of ma make a little homework in that regard. Because if you free them, Shadowheart is still uh, so, sort of cursed by Shar. The wound's still there, it's eternal pain and whatnot. Uh, I decided this is the way I wanted things to go, because in the end, if you think about it, Shadowheart's father would probably outlive her. Being that she, uh, he's an elf, uh, her mom was a uh, human. So it doesn't really make sense that you wouldn't follow that whole thing of sacrif uh, the sacrifice of the parents and whatnot. That's the, that's the whole reasoning I came to when it comes to this mission. So, yeah, that's canonical ending for me. Now, sentimentalities aside, there is this mirror here, which is quite interesting. Because if you guys remember, okay, we're getting out of the of the whole sad story here, and we're getting into this now. If you guys remember, I think Carla has it. Uh, yeah, there it is. This was like in episode eight or something like that. We found this book, Necromancy of Thay. We can read this uh, until a certain point, and then we couldn't read anymore. You've seen much of the book, but its most powerful secrets are guarded by indecipherable glyphs. Without a key, they may be locked away forever. And I believe uh, this mirror has something to do with that. We can, we can um, do something with the book, sort of thing. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, this is where the episode becomes really long for me, not for you lads, you know, the magic of edition. Uh, I'm gonna put it on me, it gives you twisted binding, don't even know what that is, it doesn't show on your stats. Let's see. Huge polished disc looms before you, a mirror, but one that offers no reflection. All you see is a void of endless darkness. This feels familiar to me somehow. 
I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before. Many times, perhaps. So, uh, many times. Why? Because this is where they take the memories of the Sharons. Basically. So, you can see. We're going to have to take uh, to get all of this. If you are Evil Shadowheart, for example, you have Evil Shadowheart. Um, this is easy. You're just going to offer the prayer and it, it gives you the thing. So, I'm going to explain it to you before uh, addressing this matter. So... Uh, once you get the whole thing and you can interact with the mirror, what you can do is to offer memories. And it's memories like um, ones I stole from someone in the streets or something like that, you know? And the the mirror offers you a gift. Uh, oh, that's what it says. But it takes away two of your stats. What stats? Well, that's a silent memory. For example, if it's uh, the previous case, as I told you, the stealing of someone, it goes like, oh, that needs dexterity. That's a lot of dexterity and takes away two of your decks. And it doesn't really give you anything as far as I'm concerned. Now, the thing with the book, it's what interests me. So we got a minus one in everything. And we need a 20, basically. We need a, a critical 20. Uh, because this way we're not never gonna get it. So we're gonna go through all of this. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and 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 get all the dices for you lads. And well, yeah. We'll see what happens with the book. So Arcana, study the mirror, try and grasp uh, its true nature. Very well. That didn't take too much, actually. But I did waste my inspiration. A mirror of loss. A relic said to be as old as the Church of Shah itself. Those who stood before it could surrender their very thoughts and memories to the Lady of Loss. Great powers rest within the realm of the mirror. To be granted at the Dark Lady's whim to those making a suitable offering. A piece of themselves. Intent an offering of your own memories. So you see, that's uh, what happens. Ah, so we only have to do this one now. Okay. Uh, we're going to do that. First of all, we need to get um, this thing as well. Although this one, it's a prayer though. I don't know how it gives you the book, uh, the book option. Oh, that was first try. I'm not even gonna have to edit. You feel the presence, dark and ancient. It approves of your fealty. Right. Let's make a safety safe because I don't know how this uh, this goes. Gaze into the mirror, intent uh, on offering uh, one of your memories. The mirror's emptiness seems to draw you into a stupefying embrace. Your thoughts, feelings, memories, they grow slow and drowsy, drifting away from each other. You must surrender some part of yourself. Right. So you must surrender some part of yourself. This is where... Here's, here's goes the thing. Uh, give up memories of your youth. When your heart uh, was carefree and your limbs were nimble. Your raw power, strength... Uh, takes the strength of you. Fortitude, that's uh, constitution, I think. Intelligence. Wisdom. I don't even know. Deception, you can try. I did this, I think, and it doesn't go. It, it, it doesn't work. Even, even if you make it. Forbidden knowledge. This is the book. Part with the forbidden knowledge from the... Theodan uh, Tome. 
Now this is interesting. Something I never done it. Precious was surrendered. Already you cannot recall its exact nature, but you feel its loss all the same. Still though, for whatever was lost, something new shall be gained. You feel the presence of something ancient and unknowable. It has taken notice of you. It seems to be intrigued by you. Where once the mirror showed nothing, there is now something. Oh. Memories, experiences, skills, all prized from the minds of others, and now offered to you to choose from. Right, so this is a a point on a skill that we can choose. Claim memories of strength uh, from a long dead general who marched under uh, the banner of Vanished Kingdom. So the strength, uh, dexterity, I imagine. Oh, I don't know. Smile and body were tempered against hardship. That would be constitution, I imagine. Clean the secrets of a wizard who once stalked the library of Candlekeep. Once of Loth, then of Shar. That's a uh, Viconia. Right, strengthen. On either side, your ranks start to buckle under the enemy onslaught. You unleash a battle cry and push back, rallying the troops. The memory fades away, yet you feel its influence linger in your body. The dark mirror seems to turn dormant, its hunger sated. Right, so I think we got 23. We got 23 without the gloves. The glo uh, Shadow Hearts got the gloves. Uh, so I imagine we can put it up to 24 and that would be like, uh, that would be the cap. That would be level uh, level cap, really. Uh, at 23, it doesn't escalate, as I've been explaining to you in, in the fir very first episodes. It's only in pair numbers. Which is uh, interesting. Yeah, apparently that's the only way you can make that work. As for the book, I don't think it takes anything from you this time. Uh, and that's a good thing. Because the book will be slightly useful when it comes to what's coming next, lads. We are done here, but the day is not yet done. We still, uh, we still have a long way to go. I told you at the beginning, this is going to be a very long day. So, Shadowheart is free of her curse. We're gonna, we're gonna have a look around here. Oh, who's that? Nocturne. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We, we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. They were friends, oh. but only. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is, if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Mm. Shah condemned me. By her decree, you and I are enemies. Only if you wish us to be. You may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on you, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. 
You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Probably a friend of uh, from childhood or something. Greetings. Do you seek to trade? Oh, she trades. As Shadowheart's friend, I'll extend the privilege to you as well. Ah, what have you got? She doesn't have anything. These things are always useful, though. Very well. Be sure to get everything you need. Come tomorrow, I'll be gone. Let's have a look around. Interrogation log. Uh, food. Could have sworn I got the key for that. Careful, I buy it. How for a skeleton key? <laughs> this is the uh, key for Vault A. That's uh, funny because <laughs> I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. Because we cleaned up the whole bank, we don't need them keys anymore. Yeah, I don't think I looted uh, Viconia. Let's see what she got. Uh. There she is. Key. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, this is... This is good, isn't it? I mean, these two are definitely good. Let's have a look. Let's get on with it. Right, definitely stronger, but the worst strength to 18. Mm. Enchantment has no effect if their strength score is higher without it. Ah, okay. Right, so it doesn't work really. What about the shield? Well, no, the shield is uh, straight up just better. Look at that. Never a dull moment. Very well then. There is a hidden chamber around here, though. Watch your back. We will get to see that, and we will probably move on. Three criticals in one video, that never happens. Have a lot on my mind and well in it. What is this? Map of Feyrun. There's a hole back there behind the crates. There's a lot of weapons over there though. Oh yeah, this is the the secret thing. Ah, oh, this is very very cool because this is Shadow Hearts old hideout. This is where she would come. That's why it's Night Orchid. Remember that Night Orchid was like her favorite flower and we could never give it to her for some reason? I wonder if this time we can. They heap precious spells upon the altar as if it were nothing. The door wants gold trinkets, uh, bubbles of mammon. Cannot get the notes though. 
she's going to make me look in the mirror again. She's going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I like flowers, I like animals, my name is, and it doesn't write it, write it down. The writing breaks off uh, a jacked scroll as if interrupted. Mm. Yeah, she was still, uh, like uh, interrupted, taken, basically. This is more than anything to give you context, this, uh, this whole place. Very well done. Artifact mission. Roster of five infiltrators is written in the elegant hand above their names. It is noted that uh, this group have proven themselves to be the most skilled and have the greatest chance to, uh, of successfully obtaining the artifact. But they remain utterly expendable. Ah, nice. Uh, so there is uh, Shadowheart at the bottom there. Healer. Expendable nonetheless. <laughs> oh, we saw the Night Singer. There's a lot of stuff over there. Right, we're done here, lads. We're moving. Uh, we're, we're going. I'm gonna make a few uh, quick cuts. I'm gonna sell all this junk. Very well. So we are done here. We're getting out. Something I I would like to do is to um, to go to camp and see if I can talk to Minsk in Yehira or something like that. See if I. Um, I get a dialogue out of them because of Iconia. Oh, that's true. I forgot the people here. There's one outside. Yeah. Lads, do you even know who, the amount of people I had to fight back in there? You really think you have a chance? Look at that. Yes, here. <laughs> the laugh. Right. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> they're both outside. Okay, then. I'm ready. Just gonna start oh, moving. What? Never mind then. Mm. Alright, let's see what you got. <clears throat> Totally unnecessary. <laughs> this silly fight. We could start playing Astarian Melee. I forgot about that. Uh, we got the daggers of... Um, of Odin. Odin's plates. Our city in our city, uh, bits of uh, patriarchs. Yeah, they do that a lot. Studies of the heart or something like that. 
Very emotional people. <laughs> Application for the member of the house. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna steal them paintings though. Yeah, this one as well. Very well. Let's move on. Although, I, I do want to go to camp. So we can see if we, we get anything. And we're gonna rest as well. We haven't rested since, uh, like, in a few episodes, in two episodes or so. Let me have a look. No one has nothing to say. What's the deal with uh, withers, though? Ever will Shar try to twist bonds of love into chains of service? Shadowheart did not let her. I cannot presume to know her parents or what they suffered, but I know that they were proud in the end. Mm. No, it doesn't Active. seem to. Doesn't seem to say anything about it. What about you? Naked boy. Who is overjoyed with our victory? Another den of evil vanquished and an old foe defeated. Well, Viconio is a friend oh, for a short is. time beforehand, but then a foe once more. Yes, Boo, a most wicked witch. The very mention of her name gives him nightmares to this day. Oh, there it is. What did she do to him? Boo and Minsk have traveled far and wide and met many fine and not so fine people. It will surprise you to learn that even the wisest of friends do not always recognize Boo for what he is. Miniature giant space hamster? Exactly! The Drow was a cruel witch, but a clever one. She knew what Boo was right away, and she had never seen his like before. She wished to inspect his handsome magnificence. Oh, no, no. So she did. One night, while he lay asleep, twitching his whiskers in happy dreams, she crept upon his tiny bedroll, holding a knife as slim as a toothpick. Holy shit. She meant to spill his miniature guts and study them. Fucking okay, hell. I did not get the chance. Boo never sleeps deeply while evil is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. Huh. She had fled from her camp by morning. When Boo told me the whole tale over a breakfast of berries and nuts. Oh, well, there you have it. There's that. Yeah, she's a companion in the previous games. But so is Sarevok, which is something that's very interesting. I don't know. I think it's from a... Uh, it's not precisely in Baldur's Gate 2, but more in, a, in, in the expansion DLC sort of thing. Uh, that would be interesting to get to at some point. Anything else? Nope. Right. Oh. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith, or forgot about it. Is that how Saluna looks here. like? To see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I know. Now that I know who I am. 
Mm. Do you feel anything? Loss. Actual loss, not Charles' oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. Oh. <laughs> Very well. Very sad. It's very emotional, that's... What's next? Yeah. We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. We already asked this question. I wonder why it... Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevelle. Can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. You can't cast a shadow without some light. Damn. What's amazing about that, it's the same answer, but it's different, you know, it's, they didn't just use the same audio. It's amazing. Very well. Oh. What's she doing here? <laughs> okay, lads, so we still have things to do. Enough resting. We do, I, I think, because um, she's singing. What? Look. Or look, I don't know. Pardon my singing. That lullaby has been stuck in my head since... Oh, funny. I can't recall. Oh, wait, that's it? Okay. Just a curious NPC then. Uh, very well, let's see. As I was saying, since we are addressing all Silunite stuff, I imagine it would be better if we go now uh, and see about Loroa Khan. Because um, Night Song, Aileen, gave us the word that she will be waiting for us to go and face him. Oh! Wait a minute. Actually, since we are at the center, before we go there, uh, we will go. Trust me, don't worry about it. I think around here in the center, in this very house, I think. Home of Lavernica, groundskeeper of Bloomdridge Park. Love right. Birds, bees, and everything in between. So I think it's here where we find another um, part of the clown. Remember, we got that clown thing going. Uh, nobody suitable for the deep episode that it's been today. <laughs> but what have you? I mean, look at this. What the fuck is this? It's a lot of dead spiders. This is a duegar. Hmm. Keep a blade close. <laughs> Easy. Easy. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? All swell that ends. Holy fuck. 
a mind flare too. What the fuck? And it's a lot of Dwergar. It's weird to see Dwergar. Uh, here at least. N none of them have anything. Uh, the effigy of Sendai, who made herself many, why use her multitudes? She thought herself a warrior, but only her blood soaked the soil. Uh, below is an extremely signature. Uh, it's Orin. So this is uh, part of the part of Orin's uh, massacre around the city. And there's a ritual here. This body, a sacrifice, or some kind of display. And it's precisely the same thing that we saw when we just we were just investigating the clown thing. Uh, we were looking for something else at the time. A clown severe leg. I think Carla has them. Look at those colors. That's a clown's leg for sure. Size thing. Uh, okay, this is the same letter. Yeah, these people don't have anything. I want to check them anyway. Sometimes you find the notes and whatnot. What is this though? Anyway. This is the clown thing. We're gonna go now and uh, to the wizard's tower and see about Lorak. And I don't know what this door is though. Pitchfork. Mm, I don't know, it looks like <clears throat> must be some sort of shack here, something hiding, no? Well, never mind then. Let's go to that. Let's give the word to Alien and see what we what we got to do with this guy. This song that's playing plays all day in my head, and I, I, I love it. I don't get tired of it. Very well then. Welcome back to Sorceress Sundries. How can I help you? So. Uh, you can see it's got the night song option that's because uh, whoever has information I think I explained this in previous episodes whoever has information about the night song is to come here and tell, and, and tell what he knows the provision of information that leads to the retrieval of the night song is worth a great deal to master Laroican do you have information regarding the night song um yeah we, we'll tell him just to get in Please proceed upstairs for further instructions. Thank you. Please come again soon and have a magical day. Uh, before going up, since since we are at it, uh, yeah, let's sell a few things. Welcome back. Trade. Enjoy our unmatched selection. Right, I got a few things that are garbage, the black diamonds and whatnot. You know, it's difficult for me to sell stuff. <laughs> Karlak picked up all the all the garbage, though. All these books from the Sharans. That I don't know. I don't even remember where it is. When I keep it. Oh, we already strip him off his gold. The paintings. Very well then. 
All right, now we got the... Okay, this is the idol of Shar. I think in the camp I have a statue of Seluna. I don't know if you guys remember, but... At some point... Please come. We had the... Um, a Silunite mission and Shagbar was like all hated of it. Welcome, dear patron, to the floor at the top of the stairs. If you have information about the night song, great riches await. If you are here to waste the great wizard Laroican's time, reconsider. Let your knowledge determine your path forward. Very well. Four portals open up when you're selling this. And, uh, well, they are traps, basically. Let's have a look at the plagues. You'll see. The Night Song is a druidic staff that allows its bearer command over an army of ancient beasts. Right, you see, it, it, it says statements about the, um, about the Night Song. The Night Song is an ancient potion that allows its drinker to become irresistibly attractive to man and god alike. Right. Obviously, that's a lie. I think it's this one. But yeah, you have to choose the right one. Obviously, you can. Uh, that's the, in the case you've come the here. The Song is an immortal being, the child of a deity. That is in the case you've come here without knowing none of these things, basically. Oh, there he is. It's a throne of books. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, there she is. What have we ah, how powerful. Here? A magician in a tower, hiding away from the frightening world. What are you so scared of, Magus? Not the night song, surely? Why, she's nothing but a relic to be purchased and pursued. My God. The Night Song is a person. At last. There you are, my Why is Roland there? You will address me with due deference. I am Dame Aelin. And you are a whelp without honor, without pride, with nothing but a tower full of trinkets. My apologies, Dame Aelin. I meant no disrespect. Perhaps we could start over. I am the Rowican. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance. And that of your fine companion, who perhaps heard I was looking for you. He is very confident at the moment. Isn't he? I don't trust this. We should go. Go? So that this Magus might send his jesters to harangue me night and day? No. Ah, that's true. We, we fought those answers. guys. And if needed, heads. <laughs> Please, allow me to explain. Yeah. That's the way of the paladin. Dame Aelin. I have discovered a device that would allow your immortality to be shared. It would cause you no harm, no pain of any kind. You serve your mother, Saluna, I believe. She who has blessed our realm with so many gifts. Honor her by sharing yours. You do not seek to share my gifts. You seek to poach them. You dare to threaten me with the same magic that held me in torment for a hundred years. <laughs> I had hoped to appeal to your better nature. Perhaps I overestimated you. Hmm. No bother. I have an arsenal of implements capable of convincing you to see reason. Oh, a man named Catherick Thorm already tried stealing Night Song's immortality. He's dead now. But 
his magic lives. I'd hoped you to keep an open mind, but it seems you're determined to make this as difficult as possible. Boy, at the ready. Why is Roland Once I'm there? Control of the Asimar, she must go directly into the caging rooms. No, Master Larokan. I would never have assisted you if I knew you planned such horrors. You lied to get the night song here. Made us all believe she was nothing but a relic. I have seen what true leadership can accomplish. But never under your tutelage. Watch your tongue, you child. I could make it such that no wizard in the realm will touch you. If they're all like you, I think that sounds like an excellent bargain. <laughs> oh, face us, charlatan! We who detest you so! <laughs> Myrmidons! Imperatum! Disgusting Myrmidons. It's the best you got, lad. Not gonna lie. Lads. This is not a fucking... What? Level 1? What are you doing here? This is not a challenge at all, obviously. But that's because we are broken. I don't know. It's the pacing that we took in this series. I remember the first time I was around here. Uh, it really it took me... I mean, I'm, I was playing Tactician, of course. It really... It, it was really difficult. I mean, these guys have HP. But come on. We are broken, aren't we? Let's begin with this guy. Yeah, let's begin with this guy. That guy is gonna die. <laughs> don't even, I don't know. Ooh, I cannot do... Control. That's gonna hurt the starting. Is that... Oh no, not again. Come on. There you go. Didn't die. I got this one. Finish him off. There he goes. How high they fall. In the inspiration. Very well. That's good, I lost. Almost all my inspiration. Let's cook with fire, baby. Dude, if I... If I do this... That guy can die from the damage. That's it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh. We are so broken. This is nothing. Right. Okay, they do hit very well. They do hit, that's all right. He's looking for a Starion. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go there and heal her, probably. What are you? Water. Does that do anything? Just as usual. Okay, there she goes. Moonbeam.
Roll on. Oh, Roland has got magic. Okay, I'm not gonna let Roland die either. <laughs> Where's he gone? Where's he going? Uh, let's see. She's against three alone. I mean, I'm gonna move probably. Let's kill this guy. Oof. Very well. I'm gonna throw it here. Don't really wanna make damage on Shadow Hut. But Lorua can the wizard already dead. That's insanity. Okay. Okay. They fly. I wonder mm, I thought it would be more than much nothing will stand in my way there we are now I'm trying to move Go. Ignite. Fire bolts. This guy should be dead. And the last one is that one. Let's go. Oh. You who would purchase my submission with profane gold. Let every wicked magus, every vile murtherer, each slaver and oh, misery gonna merchant do? see. Dame Aelin is watching. She's gonna she the, the bane. is indomitable. And when her face lights the shadows of your wrongdoing, you are broken by its beauty. <laughs> Shit. Oh, she's amazing. Holy fuck. Atkatla. 20. Okay. Oh, holy fuck. Okay, let's. That was insane. She did the bane on Batman. <laughs> sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. Okay, let's. I think we want to leave it here. We're already running out of time. It's been a long day. It's been a lot of stuff. And we want to uh, continue right here in the next episode. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what can I say after that. It's been a lot today. I really hope you enjoy. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.